Hello everyone and welcome back. Yes, I'm on the roof of the van. We're back on the van conversion, finally. It's felt like weeks and weeks since we took that flooring out. It has been weeks and weeks actually. And then we've been off to France. I did that different video, which you were all very supportive about. Thank you very much. If you haven't seen it, go back and have a look at last week's. I've also purchased some nice uh, microphones so I don't have to have the camera right in front of my face. And if I turn around, you can still hear what I'm saying. So that's fantastic. Um, but yeah, this is it. I'm gonna go get changed. John's gonna come down and help me. We're gonna get inside and start working on the rust. Why am I on the roof, you might ask? Because I haven't had a look at the roof yet since we bought this van and I need it to have an inspection and I can already see there's uh, a bit of rust here, not bad. I'll show you close up later on when we get to work. Um, that needs taken care of. There's obviously been something attached on the back here at some point, whether it was a light or I don't know, but they've f taken it off, filled the holes with silicon, and the silicon has decayed or just been applied very badly, and there's holes, there's actual physical holes going through into the van, so water has been getting through here, which might explain why that reversing camera's not working, because it felt damp when I put my hands in there and felt the connections, um, so I'm gonna have to get a new one of those, connect it, and see if it's just gonna fix the problem or whether I have to rewire it. Other than that, down inside, rust work today. And possibly, we might put a visor on the front. Oh, and I've got to get all the um, foot plates back in for the, uh, in the driver's side, passenger side, and across the back here, because we took all those out in the last video, if you remember, and I still haven't put them back. They're just kicking around. So let's get down and let's get on with this. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13 year old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand, where I used to work as an underwater cameraman, and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel, and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cosy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. Right, we're ready to do this. It is hours after I climbed down off the roof. It's just been one of them days. I got down, took Ella to a friend's house. I had to go to the shops. John and I went for a haircut. We got changed, we had lunch. Uh, we've had to mow the back lawn because it was long overdue. And yeah, now we're finally gonna look at the van and we've got one hour until we have to go and pick up Ella again. So <laughs> let's have a look what we're doing. Hello. There is a John. He's got one of the new fancy microphones on. Can you hear him? Hello. <laughs> I like this microphone, it's cool. Good. Right then, let's have a little look at what we need to do. We have got minor, minor rust spots to take care of and some very light rust on the paintwork. And we've got a lot of pop rivets sticking out of the walls. Now, what we're gonna do is I will go around chopping those off with my cutting disc. I've got a new uh, flappy disc for my grinder just to sand things back. I have got wire brushes to go on the drill, which will get John on with some of the rust. Any rust that doesn't want to come off, we've got Q-Rust, which uh, Q changes the rust uh, and stops it basically spreading, from what I understand. After that, we have got Red Oxide Metal Primer. After that, we have got Hammerite uh, Smooth Silver Paint, which, as you know, Hammerite keeps the rust away. Now, they do say that you can paint Hammerite straight onto rust, but we are going belt and braces with this. We're gonna live in this van. Once it's all built and everything's inside of it, I do not wanna be peeling panels off to deal with rust. So we're gonna give it as much chance as possible to last. Um, I think that's it. And then like I said, well, or maybe I didn't say, we're gonna put these back in. These are for the uh, steps up into the cab. Um, but then again, we don't know how much time we've got because we're picking Ella up in an hour. So we might just do a little bit of rust today. Mm -hmm. And if the weather holds for tomorrow, we'll do some more tomorrow, won't we, sir? Yep. Very good. Places like, see that? Yeah, we, I used it once. Oh, you used it on the bumper on the other van, didn't you? On the bumper, you? yeah. Of course you did. Right, well, have at it. Okay. Certainly around, see that big nasty hole at the front there? Uh, you can try and oh, yeah. get around that a bit. Whew. 
right, well, that's not as bad as I thought. John's just taken a break. I'm actually just going to show you these holes I was on about up in the, in the roof here. Now, I've actually uh, chucked some silicon on them. That's not an ideal fix. Well, it's not a fix. If you look under there, that's actually a hole, full on hole. So temporarily for now, I've just grabbed a load of silicon because I just need to stop water getting into this van. These ones were okay, but you can't be too careful. Oh, and there's a hot tip. Wonder wipes or something like, these are ultra wipes, same sort of thing. These things with silicon, get your fingers covered in the juice and you can just do that with the silicon and it doesn't stick to your fingers. I do this all the time at work, you see, it's great. Right, that is unsightly and horrible. But it's gonna rain in the next few hours probably. Um, so I don't want water getting in anymore. I want this to dry out. I had a look inside and it looks okay. Uh, there's no rust. So I'm hoping that hasn't been like that for very long. What I will get is something like this that's here. I'll show you on the inside. That's just a clip. Or I can get like wide headed screws with washers. Uh, sorry, nuts and bolts through those holes, um, Sikaflex all over them and tighten that up. That's the other way of doing it, other than welding, of course. It's such thin metal and I think welding, to do a nice job up there, it'd just be a pain and an expense. I have to take the van, I have to insure the van and drive it somewhere to uh, have it done. So I think I will be able to patch that myself with, uh, yeah, like I say, Sikaflex and some nuts and bolts, some big ones. Uh, Back to grinding, I suppose. So yeah, um, we've not get carried away, but I think, like I said, I want to be sensible. Anyway, I've got to go pick up Ella now. So hopefully, I reckon John and I can get through this floor today. But before I go, he wants, he's playing with the new microphone. So look, he's all the way over there. Listen. Hello, I'm speaking with the new microphone. <laughs> <laughs> he's an idiot. Can you hear him all right? Yes. These microphones are, are quite a novelty for us, you understand? Very cool okay, microphone. this is a, an expense. This is a, an investment in the YouTube channel. Yes, investment indeed. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So it is the following day. We did not get where we wanted to yesterday. We had to pack up early and uh, cook, and we didn't want to grind and uh, disturb the neighbors too much, you know? So we are going to finish off this little bit of grinding on the floor today, aren't we, sir? Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put some red oxide on and some Q-Rust where it's needed, and what else? Hammerite. Hammerite. You remembered the name this time. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's do this. So as you can see where we left off yesterday, we've done quite a bit of grinding. I might have done a little bit more than necessary. It doesn't matter, it'll paint over and it will be super protected. But then we've just got a few little spots like here left to do, there, a bit more. So it's really minimal to be fair. There's nothing much left to do. And then we can get some uh, paint on, which is great. I'm excited for this bit because once the paint's on and dry, we can start to build the floor. That's the bit. I like building. I don't like the grinding and the cleaning and the scraping. Do you? Yes. Yes, you like the grinding and the cleaning and the scraping. Yes. Oh well, that's up to him, isn't it? Yes. All good? Yep, all good. So we think we've pretty much got all the rust spots. Now John's having a good scrub of the floor there. I am trying to get into all the nooks and crannies down here. Get it dried off. 
then we can start applying painty things, can't we, dude? Yep. Okay, I believe we are ready to put a bit of cure rust on the tiny little rust bits we can't get to. Did, unfortunately, just find here, on top of the wheel arches, there was a bit of rust around the plugs that are on top of them, so I've ripped them off. John's uh, taken it back. Yep. And we'll put some cure rust on there. So, yeah, exciting. I think the weather's about to turn on us as well, so hopefully we'll get some paint on quick. This is Hammerite Crust. Um, and the idea is we paint it on any patches that we couldn't sand back and they will, it will react and stop the rust from rusting, apparently. Now I've seen people putting it on on YouTube, so we've got a little spot here that was just a bit deeper than we could grind. We pop that on there and then apparently we watch as it changes colour and uh, that means it's stopped the rust from rusting. <laughs> All right, crazy stuff. I have seen other people using it on YouTube. I was intrigued to see it myself. So you paint it on and it sort of turns purple, then black and uh, reacts with any rust spots. But anywhere we've sanded back, I put it on, you know, belt and braces, like I said, and uh, it turns it all black. So our beautiful van <laughs> looks really scabby. It is now about lunchtime. John and I are gonna get a sandwich or something, aren't we, John? Yep and it feels like the rain could be coming, so hopefully it won't, and then we can uh, stick some red oxide on after lunch. And I'll see what the dry time is on that, but if we can, hammerite tonight would be great, uh, it would be fantastic. Um, it's very hard, I'm very pushed for time, you know, on these things. It is now Friday, the Friday before, I normally release a Saturday video. So this video should be going live tomorrow evening. <laughs> um, so as, yeah, make no promises, of course. But what will normally happen is hopefully I'll film enough today and we get as much done as we can today and I'll be editing tonight and tomorrow morning then we release a video. But if it rains, we're going to have to film tomorrow morning and then the video might not come out till Sunday. Anyway, waffle, waffle, waffle. You don't need to know that. I'm just letting you know how busy I am <laughs> just in case it doesn't release. Okay, lunchtime. Speak to you in a bit. Right, we're back from lunch, and uh, <laughs> I'm obviously getting old. I tried to fly the drone. The, the drone. I tried to fly the drone this morning to get some shots, like uh, you know, the starter shots for the day, and I couldn't get it to fly. I couldn't get it to turn on. Uh, well, it was switched on, but it wouldn't start the prop spinning because there's a little maneuver you have to do with the remote control, and I've done it a million times, and it just wouldn't work. I couldn't figure it out. Anyway, we've tried now, just after lunch, I thought oh, I'll quickly have a look into it, look on YouTube, on uh, the internet and see what possibilities it could be. And then John just had a quick look and watched me doing it and he figured it out. I was doing it wrong, even though I've done it probably, well, hundreds of times. I was doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of moving it down like you meant to on the joystick, I was moving it across. How did I get that wrong? And I thought the drone was broken. Oh dear, I'm getting old. Maybe I'm just stressed about this van. Well, anyway, I was going to talk to you about that at some point, but not now. Let's get on with getting some... Uh, I think we're going to fill some holes first before we put paint on. <laughs> All right, I admit defeat. The younger man is better with a drone than me. <laughs> okay, before the red oxide, I have to calm myself down. I'm so excited. I just want to put the red oxide on. I want to start painting. But what we need to do first, ideally, is put some of this steel stick into some of these little holes uh, that are kicking around on the floor of the van. Now this stuff is, uh, yeah, a two-part compound, and it's already here in two parts. We've got to wear gloves, apparently. Ooh, you can see there, two different colors, and you break off the amount that you want, and then mess it around in your fingers till it's a uniform color, and then we just bung it in the holes. And in about an hour, it's ready to paint over. 
Um, I don't know whether I should put the red oxide on first or this first. Uh, there's no real, doesn't really say on here, but some people I've heard saying put this on first. So I don't know. Put it in the comments if you have any idea, but it'll probably be too late because I'm going to do it now. <laughs> but I'd like to know for future. So if you know, let me know. Cheers. Let's have a go at this, shall we? I guess I'd rather have a bit more sticking out the bottom. Hmm. I don't know if I'm using too much there or not, really. I suppose I probably am. I could probably use a bit less than that. Looks like a lot. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Hi Mittens, what you doing? No, don't like the smell of that. All right, we're ready for the red oxide. John is just having a bit of a tidy up. I just wanted to have a quick word with you guys because I wanted to say a massive, massive thank you once again to all the people who support this channel and like and everyone who's subscribed and all that. But what's just given me an absolute boost this last week is the new Patreon and the new uh, buy me a coffee link that I've put in the description of the video. Feel free to go and have a look. But leading up to that, I was really procrastinating on this build as much as I cannot wait to get away and do what we want to do as a family and with this van and with our lives. It's, it's overwhelming, I'll be honest. I'm a single dad. I'm still running a business here in the UK and I am, uh, I'm busy. I work hard. I am, I'm doing physical work and it, and it tires me out. And I just don't, to come home and then try and find the energy to put into the van, it's, it's overwhelming and I've, I'm admitting it over the last few d days and John's helped me <laughs> realise it. He mentioned the other day, he's like, we're procrastinating on this van, aren't we? I'm like, yeah, I suppose we are, dude. And I don't mean to, I just, I have to realise that I'm getting older. I think I just have to be honest with myself, I am getting older. And, uh, oh, there's Amazon, I don't know if they're delivering for us. I'm getting older and it's hard. I have to realize that I get knackered easily. I'm so tired on an evening and on a weekend. But anyway, as I was saying, after launching the Patreon last week and the buy me a coffee, and we already got two Patreons paying a monthly subscription and we had three people go to buy me a coffee and they didn't just buy one coffee, they were buying a few coffees. It was just such a boost. It just gave me what I needed. And it, it makes me realize that we can actually with your help, make money doing this and survive doing this as a family. And it's just, it's amazing. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you because it means the world to me. It makes me realize that this isn't just me doing this on my own, obviously with John's help and Ella, um, but you guys out there, you're just a massive, massive help to me. You keep me going when I'm feeling like I can't do this anymore. I need to do this and I want to do this, but finding the energy to do it, sometimes it's just so hard. But then I get a little ping on my phone, someone's just sent you $15 through buy, uh, buy me a coffee. I'm like, this is amazing. This is amazing. People are just amazing. Anyway, I just wanted to say that. I love you all. You're fantastic. I love the feedback I get in the comments. So please drop comments, tell me your thoughts. It's, it all helps, every little helps. So anyway, I just wanted to get that off my chest and tell you. John's getting ready for painting on his own, bless him. I'm gonna do some work with him. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, and that was another thing I wanted to say. He's got his microphone switched on most of the time and because it's a new toy, I apologize. I haven't looked back at the footage from this video yet. I don't know what's been going on. He's been off to the toilet. He's been in the kitchen washing things for me and I've been talking to the camera. So I, I apologize if there's madness going on in the background. <laughs> Have you? Have you been? <laughs> Aha, look at that for an angle. That works. Let's paint this thing. Typical blooming British weather, we've been rained off. We got 
as you saw probably on the time lapse like john says it looks like a crime scene doesn't it sir yep <laughs> now we need to get these doors shut look john it's raining on is that is that paint or is that get a brush and just wipe that in please good lad it's raining on it we're gonna have to just quickly there that's it just just even it out right quickly we have to close these doors yep 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 close a little seal we haven't got the seal on <laughs> it'll just have to be all right all right then damn this weather we couldn't quite finish because of that we were almost finished all right well that's fine it's progress that's all that matters progress progress look at that <laughs> okay the rain did stop and i couldn't resist it i came back out and i finished that little bit at the back there but then i thought I'm gonna get a ladder out and I took the reverse camera off because I wanna go and see if I can fix it because they're about 100 quid those reverse cameras. So if I can fix it, I'll fix it. I'm gonna sit in front of a movie tonight with it on my table in pieces. I pulled it off and I can see that it has had damp in there. So sometimes, you know, you can just clean up the metal connections and stuff and it might be okay, fingers crossed. Anyway, when I was up there, I noticed there was some rust around where the seam would go. Not the seam, the seal, the seal. Um, so I thought, why not? I've quickly ground it. I've red oxide did die did I did it. And also up on the roof here, there was another bit of rust which I have just done the same thing to. Now obviously I couldn't put the door seal on the back here. So yeah, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Very, very nice. So she's going to sit like that for the night. <laughs> Hopefully we've got some weather in the morning. I can uh, get some hammerite on. Anyway, that's it for today and we'll see you tomorrow, I hope. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, so as you will notice, there's been a bit of rain. Yeah, it's actually dried up a little bit since I took those shots that you've just seen. Uh, but I've given John the day off. The red oxide paint has not blooming well dried, has it, fully, because of this damp in the air. So uh, what I'm gonna do is take the tarpaulin off. I'm gonna put the, uh, what's it around? Come on, brain, seal. I'm gonna put the seal around so we can close the doors and the rain won't get in. I am also gonna reattach the reversing camera because I believe I got it working last night. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm gonna reattach it, plug it back in and we'll test that before we finish. Uh, but other than that, I've been speaking to a friend of mine who might be able to weld up those holes in the floor. You know, the bigger holes where the gas dropouts were, I've got three of them. I wasn't really sure what to do with them. I had all sorts of different ideas of sticking stuff over them and whatnot. Uh, like fiberglass even, but um, he's gonna do me a price and a date to when he might be able to weld them. So there's no point putting any more paint on now anyway. So as it is, I'll do these little bits and that'll be it for this one. But uh, stay tuned and let's see if we get this reversing camera working because that'll save me a hundred quid if it does. Okay, fingers crossed. <laughs> okay. Fingers crossed, that will work. This will make me happy, and I won't mind not being able to paint today. That's where it'll come from if it's coming on. Put us in reverse. <laughs> oh, the camera makes it look like it's got a funky line. It's working. We've got a reversing camera. Yes. All right, folks, so that's the end of that one. I hope you enjoyed. It's nothing like last week's video. Uh, we're back to the normal way of doing things. But as always, I just want to thank everyone so much. I know I said it in the middle of the video, but you have no idea how much it means to me. Even just liking the video, uh, hit the subscribe button. Those are free. If you want to jump onto Patreon and help us out, that would be amazing. Because as you know, that helps us get things like these microphones. It's going to help 
contribute towards getting the van ready. Every little helps. Buy me a coffee on there. There's a link down in the description below. And comment, if you've got anything to say, any advice, please. You know, I'm not an expert in this. Please, any advice, throw it my way. Or any support, moral support, bring it on, bring it on. That would be fantastic. Thank you so much. And a lot of my friends out there, because I obviously tell all my friends on Facebook uh, that the videos are out, and you're so sweet, I love it, but you all comment on Facebook. If you don't mind, if it's possible to comment on YouTube, that helps it out even more. I love to hear from you. I mean, if it's easy, just comment on Facebook. I don't care, really. But uh, anything that happens on YouTube, lets YouTube think that you love my videos and you're gonna wanna come back for more and it pushes it out to everyone else out there. So yeah, um, that's it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again maybe next week. If this weather doesn't hold tomorrow, I'm not gonna get any filming done and then I'm working all week. So we'll see you when we see you, hopefully next week.